One of the most popular questions that we are getting nowadays is high speed planting and what it takes to uh, turn an existing planter uh, into a high speed planter versus going to uh, the OEM manufactured and buying a brand new planter from scratch. Um, and that's where we turn guys to the product uh, that Precision Plant offers as, as speed tube. Um, it's our way of turning a standard planter into a high speed planter. Uh, this product is offered directly uh, with our V-set 2 meter from Precision Planning with our V-drive motors. Uh, they mount inter intertwined with each other, so they fit together as one unit whenever they go on the planter. I'll show you that here after a bit. But the components of the speed tube are very simplistic. When you want to go to a high speed planter situation, the concern is seed placement and seed drop. So what we have to make sure that we don't have happen is the seed deflections as it's going down the tube. So with the speed tube side, we are taking the seed directly off the seed disc, grabbing it with the wheels, and then belting that seed all the way down to the ground and releasing it two inches from the ground. So with the speed tube, we're able to, if the row unit has any sort of bounce to the ride, we're able to hold that within that half inch, three eighths confinement, and then not, and still release that two inches from the ground to keep our accurate spacing at any speeds. So I'm gonna go through the speed tube here of some of the components. So the first thing I took off is actually the seed tube sensor um, that we have on there to read our population simulation. The cover just comes right off. Then at the top, we have the two feeder wheels that I talked about that grab the seed. Uh, maintenance wise on them, we replace them once a year um, just from seed coating purposes to have to build up over time to keep the system well maintained. Then once the seed comes down into the belt, it's then held within this 5 8 gap. There's also a deflector plate here that is put on for the larger seed, the larger pointier seeds, where sometimes they can get lodged. That's a deflector to turn that seed to place them into that uh, spot in the belt so that they can be belted down and we don't have any jamming issues. So sometimes that the belt guys ask, what's the maintenance on these? You can take the belts out. You just take them and spin them out. Here's the belt assembly separate. When we store these over time uh, from one year to the next, we always take them out, let them relax um, in a warm environment that keeps the longevity of them better. So other than that, at the bottom of the speed tube, there is an idler assembly down here, which is spring loaded. And we just have the main drive motor itself. So I want to take this and talk about it being installed on a row unit. So on this particular row unit right here, we have a John Deere mini hopper with a V set two and V drive motor. And we have a speed tube system installed. So one of the main components that we have to look at as far as what we have to do to make a speed to work on a planner is we need to start at the bottom here with your seed tube guard. The seed tube guard, as you can see, is a longer guard. We have to be able to protect the bottom of that speed tube. So if a rock were to come and lodge itself in between, that we have it protected and don't damage our housing. So we have to replace that on the planner. The next thing up is our Keaton quick attach uh, bracket. That holds as our, our holding bracket for our speed tube down at the row unit here. Then going on up, the only other thing at the top is just a spring system that holds the speed tube in place. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take on and off of a row unit. So all I do is unclip the mini hopper. I will unplug the V-drive motor and the mini hopper comes off for two separate pieces. I'm then left with my speed tube. So if I wanna come and take the speed tube out because I have an issue with it, all I do is unplug this connection and the speed tube comes out. So there are two completely different components um, that are only hooked together um, by spring tension and alignments. So I'm gonna put it back together for you here. So we'll just slide the speed tube back in. It's in place, as you see, it has a little spring tension. So when I put the mini hopper and meter on, it will then put pressure on that to make sure the alignment is properly done. I can then plug both of my speed tube and my V-drive back in and I'm off and going again. So it's one of the products offered by Precision Planting to help retrofit and achieve a existing planter in your shop or in your warehouse that you want to convert into a high-speed planter. Mm -hmm.